Hello, Brick Rigs Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, it's not all about blowing each other up. Like, 99% of it is. But every once in a while, a meme comes across the internet, and we have to deal with it. Over here! Oh. Okay, uh... She was standing, like, when I started, and I was preparing to record this. Now, now she looks a little less impressive and intimidating. Over here! There we go. It is the creature that has taken the internet by storm. It is Granny. How do I know? Because I can't go anywhere on my YouTube browser without seeing Granny. Granny's everywhere. She's been beating kids with, I don't know if that's a rolling pin or whatever, but she's been beating kids with her beady stick for weeks now, possibly even months. How long has this abusive woman been doing the jig? Okay, what's going on? <laughs> now I know why she was on her side when I decided to record this in the first place. All right, look, Dark325 made Granny, all right? We're gonna blow her up with a ton of different- Now she's coming at me. This- Okay, now I understand why this creature has so many people scared. She's possessed in brick rigs. We've cross-platformed this woman from her original mobile game self to the land of Bricksville. Well, not today, Granny. Because luckily, the denizens of Bricksville are freaking pros at making high ordnance, large caliber, extremely explosive warfaring objects. You don't even know, Granny. You have no idea what the minds of Bricksville can come up with. Look at this glitch-tastic work of art. War Challenger is back. And he's made this giant turbine snowplow thing. Its job? To clear the tracks of any foreign debris that might litter them. Like old ladies. Imagine for a moment, Granny's out, club in hand, looking to beat some children down like harp seals. When suddenly, the War Challenger Snowplow Express comes to town. And what should happen? There we go. This is what this is what occurs. I didn't know Granny was uh quite so flammable. There you go. In case you had no idea of the different ways that you could deal with Granny and her would-be scumbaggery, uh one of the things that you could do is lightly tap her on the posterior region and it looks like she completely blew <laughs> There's my body. Uh, it's like a little Russian nesting doll. Didn't know that a uh, that a little brickman was hiding inside of Granny. Uh, he's looking to be okay. I don't know what particle of Granny this was, but her large megalodon tooth-looking thing that had previously been inside of her is uh, no more. <laughs> oh, it's lovely weather for slaying Granny with you. Time to blow up, lady. Little did we know. That as you get older in life, you get much more flammable. I had no idea. I gotta tell you, Granny's giblets really go flying when she blows up. Look at the height that the particulates get. It almost just blends in with the snow. And thus, all the children of the world are safe once more. You can enjoy a lovely snow day in the middle of June. Although I guess it doesn't help you because you're already out of school. But, uh, you know, you could, you could take solace knowing that Granny's body parts are blending in with the snow as it falls down to the ground. Now, I feel it's only appropriate to give Granny her due. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just the, the vehicle that's so destructive. Maybe it's not really her. Maybe it's the snowplow. So War Challenger crafted a lovely structure here made of 6,000 bricks of potato computer destroying goodness. Its job to make processors sad. And also, what is all this? What's it say? <laughs> oh, Sabaton. All right, that's pretty good. We've got, uh, I think we got some lyrics over here. Is this a, is this a unicorn? <laughs> I don't know. Inside of here, we have several very interesting pieces of uh, office built potential power epicness. But the most important thing I found, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, yep, right over here. Water zero machine. As long as you have a water zero machine, 
everything's gonna be all right. You can actually see Granny in the background on her side <laughs> through the window. Uh, I should have cleaned her up a little bit further. Don't edit the building, War Challenger says. It'll destroy your processor, War Challenger says. Will it? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, it's just dragging the building. It's taking the building on a cruise. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. How far? Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Nothing to see here. Old Gray just had the building on invincibility, but this time, for sure, we're gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the frame rate. Oh, the glitching. Oh, War Challenger was right. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. What happened to the building? The building disintegrated from the bottom up, and then it just kind of, like, decided that it didn't want to live anymore. It just, like, threw itself up into the sky and fell to the ground. It almost looked like the vehicle kind of teleport, uh, teleported through the bottom floor. I... Everything else is fine. Kind of the higher you go up in it, maybe the more chances of survival you'd have. But, man, the bottom got wrecked. I feel like we need to use something with a bit more oomph. So Lemonhead Maniac has crafted the B-52 Stratofortress, carrying 29 thermonuclear bombs. This gigantic behemoth of a plane will certainly annihilate anything in its path. If I can, you know, like, drop the bombs in the correct location. Supposedly, it flies pretty good, too. Now, you have to open up the back end over here, the or the underbelly chute, I should say in order to drop your bombs. I haven't actually used the bombs yet, so I don't know how legit they are. Let's do a real quick test on the citizens. Oh yeah. Oh, it flies exactly how you would expect. Like a slightly aerodynamic beluga whale. It's perfect. I'm gonna tell you, this thing glides like a dream. Look at it. It's just kind of floating in the air. I don't even think it's going that fast. No, it's, it's just straight up gliding. Like a giant, oversized, metallic, nuclear warhead toting kite. Alright, the bomb bay doors are open. And the uh, giant behemoth is just going to go ahead and coast over the city here. Let's go ahead and start dropping all the bombs. I don't know how many times I actually have to press this or how many bombs get dropped. Oh, it's a giant cluster. I had no idea. It was just a giant pack of bombs and bomblets as the massive strato fortress continues to fly overhead. Down they come! How hard do they hit? Not too bad. I don't know. I think that would probably do some good damage against Granny, but uh, hold on. Let me let me see if I can actually hit her with this thing. Granny gets nuked. News at 11. Whenever I like to do something like this, I like to throw the entire vehicle at it. So this way, if the bombs miss, maybe the plane will hit. But on top of that, I also have Granny kind of like stuck in between a whole bunch of buildings. So maybe the building will just fall on top of her. We've done a little bit of damage. There goes the plane just kind of shattering into... I I think the shrapnel did it. The shrapnel may have ripped her arm in half and- Oh, there we go. That did it. So yeah, I told you, one way or another, Bricksville will take care of problems. Whether or not it has to drop bombs on you, throw a vehicle on top of you, or just drop an entire building on you, it will win in the end. Bricksville is essentially the only- Are the- Is it just a pair of wings just flying around in the background? Just with its little jets going? Just like a giant boomerang. That was a giant rocket-powered boomerang! That would be a pretty cool weapon in this game! A rocket-powered boomerang! Who would have thought? I can't believe that the Strata Fortress is still attempting to live. Now, it had said in the description that this was a power... Random building falls. Welcome to Bricksville. It had said in the description that the Strato Fortress was a viciously powerful plane because of how much damage it could take and how many parts there were. But I don't think that there's any plane in the universe that would survive having nothing but its wings left. X Gamer Wolf has crafted this glorious beast. I think it's called like the Realistic Collapsing Tower or something. The idea is, is that with the press of a button, you can watch in a satisfied manner as the entire tower crumbles in upon itself, crushing anything that may be in its way. At the top of the tower rests the King Kong of the mobile gaming world, glowing-eyed Granny. Look at her as she slowly bobbles back and forth, her left arm beginning to jitter as she thinks about all of the children 
that she would be clubbing right now. When all of a sudden, oh, oh, there we go. The bottom drops out and down she, wow, that was actually a really good collapsing tower. It didn't actually do that much damage to her, but I don't care. Watching the tower collapse was pretty legit. I wonder how it looks in slow motion. Slow motion makes everything better in brick rigs or more glitchy. Drop the tower down. Drop the, the tower. Drop the tower. Drop it. Drop it now. It's the, the building looks really cool falling. I really appreciate that. It looks great. And there you go. Just, just to add insult to injury, one of the slabs of polyurethane ends up right in her chiclets. It wouldn't be brick rigs without doing something completely excessive. So ECA001 has crafted this beast. It's called the M270 MLRS ATACMS. Look, it's got a long name. But the point is, is that inside are two rockets that shoot out some 250 cluster bombs. That means 500 potential cluster bombs to eradicate Granny with as she looks at us askew. Granny's in position. The cluster bombs are prepared. Let's do this. Oh, the cluster bombs are raining all over the place. I'm not sure if we're close enough. A couple of the shrapnel is starting to fall. All we need is like one good hit. Where <laughs> goes the gas tanks? Of course. Look at it just rain fiery death all around her. But it's like we can't hit her. It's like she got some sort of protective aura. How is this happening? Look at the particulates showering the landscape with sadness. Well, none of it, you gotta be kidding me. Not a single one hit her. The rockets flying majestically on the blue background. Trust in Gray, I'll make it happen. There it is. There's the rainstorm of rocket chunks. <laughs> I didn't really think it would be quite that bad. She got blown to bits. There is legitimately nothing left. What is that? That must have been part of the, uh, of the cluster rocket, because I don't know what else it could have been. I don't think it's Granny, though. I think that must have been part of the firepower. All right! I think that we've saved the world, everyone. The entire internet, and in fact, the universe itself, no longer has to live in fear of a woman who, I don't know, slowly meanders through her house, looking to beat people to death like sides of lamb. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.